This episode of the Damage Guild podcast is sponsored by listeners like you. Join the guild at patreon.com slash damage guild to receive exclusive perks, member rewards, and bonus content. Previously on the Damage Guild podcast. As though you hold Nelia at knife point and threaten to kill her unless Felmendar confesses, but she's in on it the whole time. We could use suggestion, tell the truth about how you were involved in Lady Grunwald's death. The real mission is we gotta find the witness. We invite Lord Grunwald. The plan is set. It's flawless. You're taking the ferry to Merivere. Just around the river bend. Welcome, outcasts. Any traveling troops coming through? Felmendar's show drops by. You might have better luck heading south. You hear a bubbling sound, a large cauldron with some substance boiling inside. You see some large creature emerge from behind the tree, and you hear others coming from other trees nearby. Seems like you walked into a trap. These are gnolls. I will cast Scorching Ray. Three flaming balls erupt all over its fur, and it combusts and screams with its hyena howl before collapsing onto the forest floor. You didn't hit anything else, right, Chava? Uh, no, that was the one. Okay. Uh, I don't think I should blow my action surge and more, like, spell slots. That was a second-level spell slot. Um, yeah, I'll move into combat with one that's close to Aslo. I felt great rolling all this dice. (laughs) So, the one that you approached takes out its spear and whiffs horribly. (laughs) Actually, as you go over there, you spot another one on this side, hidden a little ways farther back in the woods. With a bow, it shoots at you. Mmm, cripes. And gets a critical hit. Ooh. <sighs> oh, boy. Wait, I should shield. Probably. Should you shield? Yeah. Well, if it's a crit, it probably still hits me. It was a critical hit, so it's going to be an automatic hit regardless. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crits you can't protect. Hmm. I'm just I'm just dead, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's just accept it. Uh, I think it's just a long bow. Crit from that's going to be, like, maybe 20 max damage. If they roll max on everything. How does invulnerability work on the bracer? When you take damage from any source, so I can wait till damage is known. Yeah. yeah. So it deals 12 points of damage with the bow. I, I can take 12. You can take That's, that. Yeah, you're good. I, I, all right, accept it. You, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, That's nothing for the likes of Tokus. <laughs> I don't know, Stripey's catching up to me in HP. So are you, like... Shaba, you have a lot of health. No, but see, here's the thing. We're all going to level up at the same time, so we'll never actually catch you. Because any time we gain hit points, you'll gain more of them. Yeah, but... Unless he starts rolling he rolls ones one. on his uh, hit point uh, dice that's rolls. That's true, yeah. If, if you keep rolling poorly on your levels, then we will. I've only rolled poorly once. Um, I will say... Maybe I should look into some more con. If you do use a charge on the bracer uh, in this combat, I would recommend the resilience to give you resistance. It's a good idea. Yeah. I have used that one a lot. Mm. So you're also attacked by one of the wargs that misses you. And then, as though, you see two of them come at you out of the trees, but they both missed you. And then the warg runs forward and bites you mm. for 11 points of damage. Oof. Did Ouch. I move too far away from him? We're not within five feet. No, you're not. I need to make a strength save. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no. Guys, I'm sorry to interrupt. I've made a terrible mistake. Oh? My character sheet says that I speak Merengian. Wait, really? I chose it as my bonus language along with my first favorite enemy. I thought you spoke, uh, what? I speak common, (laughs) giant, Merengian, and Orcish. This whole time you've been (laughs) pretending not to speak the language. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yes, the Which whole time means I've you been... actually heard what I was saying to people when I was translating for you. <laughs> I've been role-playing as though I could not speak it, but I actually chose it, <laughs> anticipating that we were coming to Marengar eventually. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. You had me going, Shop. I really believe you, you didn't understand Aslo and the rest. I thought I didn't. Let's just say that I've been studying so much as we've traveled that I like have picked up the basics. You're like a yeah, you're like a conversational level in Marengan. Yeah, the only requirements for choosing your bonus language when you take a favorite enemy is that it's a language that one of those enemies may speak. And so when I took giants there could be giants in Marengar who speak <laughs> Marengese <laughs> who speak Marengay instead of common. So <laughs> 
Uh, All right. So now Tokus is the only one who won't understand what's going on. <laughs> okay. So you've been studying it for like the last couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. It would have to have been like while we were anticipating coming here. So you speak some, but you're not fluent, we'll say. Sure. Yeah. Fair enough. But, you know, immersion does wonders, so you're That's probably right. going to pick it up pretty quickly now that you're here. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, you've been using Duolingo on the on the rigs. Yep. Yep, I've got the app on my phone. So. <laughs> Those first six weeks I spent in Japan were so helpful for learning the language. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. <laughs> All right, sorry for the interruption. Return to your normally scheduled combat. All right, so I had just been... I was just making a strength save. I got a total of nine. That is not enough. And the warg bites your leg and pulls you down to the ground. Oof. Yikes. Which actually gives advantage to the other ones. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. So one of the gnolls does hit you with its spear for another six points of damage. Okay. Brian, no. no. Succeed. You must succeed. What's your bonus to your conch save? Your conch save. Conch save. Oh yeah, you got to make oh, all your concentration that's right. yeah, checks. That's right. Two uh, two concentrations. But you get your bonuses. You get profish and con. Do I? You get constitution saving throw. Okay. So it's just a plus one for you. All right. Well, I thought it's. I wrote down in my notes because I've been forgetting when it comes to me rolling conch for hex. I said to myself, don't forget you have proficiency and normal con bonus to add. Is that not true? You're proficient. He's not. Oh, I'm proficient with con checks. But you are not. <laughs> ah, I see. Ah. Okay. Dang it, Brian. All right. So it's constitution. Two DC 10 checks. Two DC 10 uh, con saves. Yes. Okay. So that's a really good choice for casters to have to be proficient in con conch saves. Con saves. Yeah. Should I use session inspiration? I'd have to make two of them. I mean, you'd have to do it twice either way, so... Yeah, so probably not. All right, here we go. Uh, that is a 16 on the first one, and... Right. A three on the second one. Uh, All right. All right, so the other ones will wake up. So the pattern... Goes down. Womp, womp. I should have stayed near you, Asla. What was I thinking? <sighs> I should have used my second chance. I forgot to use it next time. I'm going to say they're still out for this round. I'm not going to make them move right away. Okay. Yeah. You see another previously unseen assailant. So two more attacking Shaba. Wow. Along with another warg that runs in. Shaba, you are shot by one at range for only two points of damage. I still have to make a con save concentration check because mm. I'm concentrating on Zephyr Strike. Um, You've got a pretty good con, though, don't you? Yep, but I made a pretty low roll. I rolled a three. Are you proficient in it? In what? Constitution? Yeah, as a save. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. My con save is a plus two, so that's only a five. So I lose the spell. Mm. Shucks. The warg closes in on Stripey, and then that ends my turn with a miss. So it's Stripey's turn. He has a warg on him. All right, he will battle the ferocious warg with equal ferocity. Uh, 15 to hit the warg. Uh, 15 is a hit. Um, ooh, nice. Max. 13 damage. All right, Stripes. Oops. Stripey retaliates bite for bite. Ha <laughs> ha. Claw for claw and tooth for tooth. And eye for eye. They just stare at each other real hard. <laughs> <laughs> and Stripey sees another foe emerge. What? And you can all just see it as it closes in on Stripey. This looks like another knoll that is significantly larger and beefier than the rest of them. Oof. And it has many battle scars and oh. has opted to not use a weapon. Instead, it just rushes at Stripey and starts biting and clawing him. Wow. Stripey is critically clawed no. for <laughs> 14 points of damage, but the other two attacks missed. Oof. Oh boy. That's not too too bad. <laughs> no, not too bad. Not <laughs> too bad. And now it's Aslo's turn. All right, so I'm laying on the ground, and there is a warg over top of me. Mm-hmm. As well as a knoll also. There is a knoll there as well. Um, now seems like a pretty good time to cast Mirror Image, I think. That should hopefully deflect some uh, damage on me. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that. And I think from my position on the ground, I will pull out Mechalola and play a song. Yes. <laughs> Every time that I cast in the mirror All these copies of me getting clearer My 
face is gone in the crowd while I sing this song. Oh, and by the way, a 75% chance your shot goes astray. <laughs> Friend and friend from foe. Just let me clue you in. You gotta attack four times if you want to win. <laughs> you can't kill me, you'll just hit my mirrors. Three for protection, three of my peers. You may kill me, <laughs> but just not today. Maybe tomorrow you'll take all my mirrors away. <laughs> Gleam on, gleam on, <laughs> gleam on till I can't stab you. Blabba bottom, busky, blabba dee daddo. Gleam on, gleam on, gleam on. Ah. <laughs> hey! Alright. Any casts? <laughs> Mirror image. Okay, there are now four Aslos sprawled on the forest floor. Exactly. <laughs> Cowering in terror. Do you do anything else? How far is Shaba away from me right now? He moved back towards you, so we should be... Did you go all the way back to next to him, or just close? Uh, back behind Tokus. Where Tokus was before he advanced. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're pretty close together. So he's ten feet away? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'll give you Bardic Inspiration this round. Sweet. Uh, and then I will stand up, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Shaba's turn. There is one Null and one Warg attacking you. Oh, that's right. Mm. It's too bad you lost the Zephyr yeah, Strike. Yeah, lost the Zephyr Strike. Because doesn't that let you disengage? Yeah, I mean, I could cast it again as a bonus action. I mean, that would be better than just dropping my bow. I f- kind of feel like I want to do that. Yeah, so as a bonus action, I'll cast Zephyr Strike. And then I'll um, step away from the guys that are on me, but I'm wondering if I should shoot them or if I should shoot the guys on Stripey. Maybe shoot the guys on Stripey so we can take them down faster? Yeah, I think I'll shoot at the warg that was on Stripey that he hit last time. Okay. Uh, That's going to be a 20 to hit. Hit. And, oh man, only four damage. Well, very poorly. Uh, And then... I'm wondering where I should move to because I don't, I can't really envision where anybody is. Three of you are in a line right now. Stripey is all the way ahead, and then Aslo, and then you, and Tokus is off to the left in the woods. Do you want to move next to Tokus again so that he can shield you? Yeah, I'll move over by Tokus. Um, Stripey will take his follow-up attack. Uh, that's going to be a 16 to hit this time. Hit for eight on the warg. All right, Stripey takes down the monster. Oh, all right. Nice. Nice. One null and one warg down, eight nulls and three wargs to go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Progress. And one of the nulls is super big and scary, right? Yeah, yes. the one on, one on Stripey. All right. Thus ends my turn. Okay. Took us. So tell me about my surroundings. What, what did I move next to? What, what can I touch with my new sweet warhams? <laughs> Warhams. <laughs> you were in melee with one null and one warg, and there was another null shooting at you, and now Shaba is right behind you. Okay, I don't want to move because I'm hoping to protect Shabs. The wargs seem to go down faster than the nulls, or is that just me? Guys, thoughts? I said go with your gut. I'm going to go with my gut, and I'm going to pick the warg next to me, and first I'm going to hex him for dex him. Hex him for dex him. And I'll smash him with my hammer. Ooh, that's good. That should hit. 22? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I lost my D8, guys. Forgive me. Um, How could you? Not bad. Right. So that's nine physical and an additional three necrotic. Going again. Uh, I rolled a natural one. Uh huh. Nice. The dark energy flows from your warhammer and into the work. It's like playing croquet, you know. In your warham, it's just a, like a big ham hock. <laughs> a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still standing and fighting strong. So the warg attempts to counter you. And just misses to your 21 AC. Excellent. And then the other two attack also. So one null spears you for six points of damage. Ooh, it tickles. 
The formerly hypnotized warg also rushes over and tries to attack you. Oh, that's not good. But it misses. If I knew I was going to be attacked by so many guys, I might have shielded. Because mm. it's like it's kind of the, the cumulative mm. benefit. The warg that had attacked Shaba now attacks Aslo. Uh, let me know if he hits. Um, that is a hit, yes. Okay. So then, all right. So first of all, mirror image. Um, two, uh, I only rolled a two, so it would hit me. So I'm going to use second chance to force a re-roll. Okay. I rolled higher. Still hits. Wait, but do you still roll mirror image on the new result from Thane? Because it's whenever... <laughs> uh, I wouldn't think so. Is that a fair no. interpretation of the mirror image ro- wording? I don't think it would do that. I would assume not, but... Okay. Uh, okay, so you roll higher. All right, so then that's a hit. I think you guys can see why I might think that, though. I could follow the logic there. But... It's, it's okay that it's wrong. You guys can tell me I'm, I'm wrong. Well, it's not forcing the whole attack over. It's just re-rolling the die. Yeah. Right. That that makes sense. I saw something in the, the Damage Guild Discord that was like... I think I'd seen that on the internet before about how, like, if you... Uh, change any one on D20 to a 2. Yeah, Elemental Adept. <laughs> Changing the <laughs> 10 to a 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't quite work. And, and then, Thane, you had a very simple response, which I appreciated. <laughs> Just, so just, don't forget, you guys can join the Damage Guild Discord and talk right. with us Very true. off the air. Uh, we do hang out on there, and we have I have at least notifications set, so I get little rings and dings if you guys are messaging at Tokus. And yeah, yeah, we we hang out on there in the digital flesh. Yep. <laughs> TheDamageGuild.com. Go to social and click the Discord link, and you'll get a personalized invite. Not a personalized invite, but the invite that everybody gets. <laughs> Yeah. The personalized invite that everybody gets. <laughs> yeah, not special, but what is special is when you get there, I, I like to send a welcome message. And that is personalized. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there are lots of people there waiting to greet you with open arms. Yeah. Everybody's real friendly there. Yeah, and you can post pet pics, you know, cat pics, dog pics. Badger pics. <laughs> yeah, it's a very welcoming space where everybody is free to be themselves and have lots of cool conversations and discussions, and it's pretty awesome. I like it. I'm there pretty often. Try to check it Mm. daily. Yep. Check it uh, several times a week at the least. Well, I have finished my rolls for the round, and Strapey is the only one to be hit, but he is speared twice. Yikes. For eight and six points of damage. Ouch. I don't believe you told me how much uh, damage the warg did to me. Oh, yeah. I forgot to roll that one. (laughs) Pride's like... But what about my damage? <laughs> yeah, come on, Thane. I want to feel special. I feel left out, yeah. Only six, but you do need to make another saving throw. Okay, thought so. Probably not worth spending a session inspiration on this. What happens if you fail it? It's just... I just get knocked just down. you to the ground? Yeah. Oh, you're not on the ground right now? No, I stood up. Yeah, I stood, I'll, I'll just get up again, yeah. You get knocked down, but you get up again. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they're going to keep you down. You get knocked down, and then I get up again. Uh, that would be a five. Yeah, you're taken down again. All right. Dang it. Me and all my buddies. And it's Stripey's turn. Stripey's got just the main big guy on him now, right? Um, no. He's, uh, one of the n- gnolls that was hypnotized before ran up, and he already had a different gnoll attacking him before, and then there's also the big guy, so he's got three attacking him right now. He's got three on him. Hmm. Wow. Is it worth getting one last hit in? Or should he just withdraw? How many HPs does he have? He has 28 left. Okay. So he's not in too bad shape, but he could easily go down if he gets walloped this next round. Hmm. With three on him. Well, he's also got the big one on him. We'd rather, if somebody has to tank it, right. we'd rather it was on me. Yeah. Is he within a movement's distance from me and Tokus? Yeah. You kind of went forward off to the side so he can just make it to you. All right. He will withdraw from that group. And come back to us. As in take the withdraw action? Correct. I'll take the withdraw Which is action. It's also called the disengage, actually? Yes. Sorry. Yes, so he's going to take the disengage action, and then he's going to move back to us, and he's going to move into flanking with Tokus against an enemy. Okay. Got at least two wargs and a knoll that he could flank with. Is that because I rolled a natural one? Is that what you want to have Stripey help me? <laughs> no, I, I just think that's an overall ad- advantageous position. Uh, it is. I'm just, I'm just remembering my natural one. <laughs> With disdain. Uh, so, Tokus, you're going to be warging this turn, right? Probably. You want to move Stripey to the warg? Yeah. My thinking is that if 
one of the enemies goes down, like if you take him down, then he won't be able to make his follow-up attack during my turn. Yeah. The big one, seeing how its last prey just ran away from it, decides to go to the next closest target, Aslo. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Who is currently on the floor. Mm-hmm. But there are three of him, so I make my attacks. <laughs> There's four of me. Oh, that's right. Didn't dispel the other one. Roll to see which one each of his three attacks targets. Okay. So the first one uh, does hit a duplicate. Second one does, and yeah, all, all three do. What's the AC of the duplicates? Uh, 13. All right, so the first one is hit and dispelled. Okay. Second one misses. The third one, would that still hit a duplicate if you only have three of you? So the third one was, yeah, actually it was an eight, so it's exactly enough to hit a duplicate. Okay, so that one is also dispelled. Okay. Soaked some damage. Duplicates doing work. Yeah. I name each of my mirror images, and I mourn their passing when they die. <laughs> They're like your front office for the business. <laughs> Zola and yeah. Zola and all the people who work. And Olaz. Yeah, who work in like HR and accounting. And <laughs> Nobody's going to miss them. No, they won't. <laughs> They'll just come back next time they're needed. <laughs> Much like a good employee. That's right. Aslo's turn now. So I'll definitely stand up first. <laughs> mm-hmm. I could just attack them. Has basically everybody taken damage at this point? Yeah, I've taken some damage. It, do you think you could even consider disengaging to get close to me to be protected by me? You've been taking a lot of hits. Um, possibly, but you can only shield once per round, right? Yeah, it's my reaction, but mm. it's something. I also kind of want the enemies to get clustered. Yeah. We have a few different abilities that wants them all to get grouped up, like Chaba's lightning bow. I have something new that wants them to be clustered. Mm. You have stuff that wants them to be clustered. That's true. That's true. I think we bring bring the party together. Yeah, fight back to back. Okay. That's my thought. You, actually, you have a heal that's a bonus sack. Couldn't you... Uh, that's true. Yeah. Can you dis, dis and bonus? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. So, yeah, action, disengage... I will move over to be next to Tokus and Shaba. Yeah, we'll stand uh, back to back. I like that. I could also flank with someone, too. Ah, uh, true. Yeah, up to you. Actually, you used half your movement to stand up, which means you can't reach them with this movement. Oh, really? Mm. Okay. What about Thunder Wave? Can you get th- those three guys if you Thunder Wave them away? Yeah. Yeah. So where is, where is this movement ending? Kind of midway? Yeah, you get halfway to you. Okay. Thunder Wave only pushes them back 10 feet, though. Mm. Do you have, like, the Wand of Web or something? Do I? St- I always forget who we give that to. Uh, it's in the satchel, so anybody can get it. Okay, that's right. Oh, is that what we started doing with kind of, like, those collective items we all could use yeah. effectively? Smart. So it'd just be your item and interaction to grab it. I was just editing that part where we were talking about it. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Last night. <laughs> yeah, I wonder I wonder if the Wand of Web could be a little bit of nice crowd control. Also, those enemies look clustered enough. Do you have enough spell slots to consider... Hypnoticing again? Mm. It was your hypnotic rolled pretty poorly. Or, I mean, they rolled really well. Yeah, yeah I ended up getting two of them. But um, that might be one of the... Uh, but then I'm, I feel like I'm just going to move over and then all five of these guys are going to run over and attack me. Mm. Not if they're hypnotic. That's true. Can you get that cluster of three with a big guy? I'll ask Thane. I don't actually know how, how close together they are. Let's see, it's a 30-foot cube. You could hit yeah, the big one and then the two that were on Stripey. Okay. Yeah, that's probably my best bet. Yeah, I think we don't want to engage that boss-sized one. Yeah, take out all the minions first. Uh, yeah. That's my idea. That's kind of what Shaba's been goading me into doing as well. Okay. Like, I went after the same target as him earlier. All right. I will hypnotic pattern those three. They make wisdom saves. Did you want to get up and move first, or you can't... Oh, you can't do that if you're hypnoticing, because you won't have disengage. I won't have disengage, but... Um, hopefully this helps. As long as it's not <laughs> affecting you, I'm, I'm all for this. I like it. A reasonable play. All three of them failed the save. So they are cut. Nice. Oh, yeah. right. Sweet. <laughs> you do have a pretty high DC. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, that's just the sort of minor reprieve that we needed at this point. Yeah. What? It, what is the uh, DC that they needed? It's either 16 or 17 now. Isn't it even higher than that? You have the crown. I think it's 17 with the crown. That's what I have written down. Yeah, so it should be 17, right? Okay. It's 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your spellcasting modifier. Yeah. So 8 plus 9. Yeah, 17. Yeah, exactly. 17. That's pretty solid. All right, so these three are hypnotized. Um, I still don't want to risk 
moving away though because they would probably still get attacks on these other two guys would still get attacks on me yeah i don't think you need to move i think i think you did great so you still got some images yeah you're looking pretty good now i do have mass healing word but that would be my last third level spell slot you also can't because that would be two spells in one turn right oh right yeah exactly but no i mean i'm glad you're thinking about it because that's we may need that at some point so then i will just sit there and hope not to get attacked (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. Well, you still have at least two that are attacking you. Yeah. Hey, Shaba. Alrighty. Is the the warg that's been hexed, Tokus, that's taking damage, right? Yeah, I hit it once. I'll shoot at that guy. Um, okay. Yeah. Don't works. you still have a Zephyr shot charge? Uh, yeah, my Zephyr strike is active. Oh. For nine more rounds. Uh, that's a 24 to hit for max damage, 11. Ooh. Got a strong hit on the warg. It's still standing and fighting. Okay. Turns its attention towards you, though. All right, Mm. fair enough. And Stripey will take his follow-up with advantage on the knoll. Um, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. That'll hit all right. 23 and 10 damage. He jumps on the knoll's back and starts tearing into it. (laughs) That scrappy little boy. Okay, yeah, so I'm still holding up Zephyr Strike. I don't think there's really a good opportunity to growth right now. I was thinking if Azo did run back toward us, if I went before those gnolls, then I might be able to get three or four of them in there. But mm. So that will that will be all. Okay, Tokus' turn. So I'm thinking it's time to bust out another sweet, sweet, sweet something I can do. Doing things you can do is always fun. Good thing to do. <laughs> yeah, do things. It's a good thing to do with your turn, to do things. Um, here, here's yeah. what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. My green flame blade is pretty sweet now. And by green flame blade, I mean green flame bludgeon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Because it got stronger, and that guy's hexed, and I now know, through rigorous training, war magic. Ah. Let me tell you a little something about war magic. Beginning at the seventh level, Eldritch Knights can use their action to cast a cantrip. I get to make one weapon attack as a bonus action. What? Wow. It's almost like you get to be a fighter and a wizard at the same time. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally, Shaba. Now I'm actually now I'm actually a wizard and a fighter. The problem is is it uses my bonus action, so that would mean I wouldn't be able to move the hex this turn. Because that's a bonus action as well. Um should I smush this guy? Sacrifice worth making. Smush, I would say. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think this is a sweet, sweet opportunity to, to do all the things. Yeah. So, Toke smush. Alright, so I'm gonna green flame blade the warg to my left. That's not bad. Uh, 16 plus plus 7. That's pretty good. Yeah, hits. 23 hits. Yep. Yep. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Generally speaking, the 23 hits. Ooh, I rolled pretty well on that d8. So that's um, 10 physical plus another d8 of fire. Whoops. How did I miss... I, that's why I have this tray, so I can't miss. And somehow... <laughs> it still somehow, manages to happen. I dropped the D8. Another four points of fire damage. And the hex damage. I think that warg's going to be a flaming green pile of ooze. Plus, I get the... You know how it jumps? It arcs to another target? Mm. So I want to do that damage as well. And, and I haven't rolled the hex damage yet. Thing. Let me let me roll all my things. <laughs> <laughs> let, me have, let me have my moment. So And, and then a, like six points flits over to, let's say, the, the null. Next to him. That actually brings down the knoll. This was a weak one. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> so. And the warg, I assume? Wait, so the warg is still up? The warg goes down with this. This is like the third or fourth attack on it. And you hammer it with your flaming war hammer of death. Yes. Your necrotic damage in there, too. <laughs> and you crush it into a pile of burning purple and green fire. <laughs> Yes. Awesome. Wow. Whoa. Two for one, man. Double kill shot. Well, that was just the green flame blade. I have my bonus attack. That's right. <laughs> which I will use. Maybe I should have attacked the one that was between Stripey and I. Nope, and nope, did, nope. Oh, you're well, good. Keep going. You well, did awesome. Uh, okay. <laughs> he took down two enemies in one attack. You're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you, no, no need to second guess yourself. <laughs> yeah, so I rolled pretty poorly here. I rolled a four on the d20, but... <laughs> That's actually an 11, but I have Bardic from Brian. Should I... I have an 11 so far. I roll I roll the Bardic, right? Yes, you definitely roll the Bardic. D8. If you wanted to, you could actually shift 
to flank with Stripey for the next warg. Oh, yeah, mm. I can move, can't I? But that means I'm no longer close to shops, or am I still within five feet of shops? That's okay. You'd be farther away than that if you moved all the way to flanking. Worth it. Well, hang on, but I've already rolled the dice. I wouldn't have known that I needed to have flanking. But the DM just told you that you could. I will accept that charity. (laughs) (laughs) You'll accept the DM's benevolence without questioning it. Yes, yes. Uh, But I did question it. Do I still get benevolence? Yes. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to roll again. I rolled the same thing. <laughs> you should have rolled better, man. Yeah. Come on. So try a little harder <laughs> next time. The same thing. So do you use the bardic as the question? Yes, I think so. I think you do. I think so. You get the D eight rolling in there. Wait, Brian. Do I have your permission to roll the bardic from you? Uh, I do get hmm. to choose that. So I'm going to say <laughs> yes. You do. Okay, sweet. Thanks, man. I really appreciate. I really appreciate what you do for this company. <laughs> oh, okay. Not de- not bad. I rolled a five on the Bardic. All right. That should do it. Better than average. All right. So what's the total? Right? Or that is mm-hmm. average. 16. Uh, 16. 16 to hit. 16 hits. Nice. Yeah. Sweetness. More damage. Too bad I can't move the hex. Oh, I didn't roll very well here, guys. Uh, another seven bludgeoning. That's still a pretty sweet turn. It is. It's more than zero. Don't you have to move the hex to someone alive? I can't. It, he- hex doesn't move automatically. Like, isn't it still on the corpse? Yeah, it's a bonus action to move it just like hundred. Oh, Mark. I see. Okay, and gotcha. my my bonus action is this extra attack I did. I guess I could have chosen not to do it and move hex. Yeah, no, you're good. Then I thought it moved automatically. No, it doesn't move automatically. I wish it did. I'm done. All right, that was a productive turn. <laughs> yes, quite taking out several of the threats. Of course, this is just the vanguard. The main army is still <laughs> uh, about, to, about to come up. So Tokus is missed by the warg. Aslo is hit by the warg. Oof, okay. Or roll to see if it takes you down, or if it gets your image. When you say takes him down, you mean, like, to the ground? Yeah. Well, yeah. Roll for your mirror image first. I thought you meant he's dead. Yeah, mirror image first. Uh, that it, that does hit a mirror image. It's a 14. All right. So Oof. it dispels that, and at least you're not knocked prone this time. Okay. Whew. One null next to you tries to spear... And misses, and the other one tries to shoot at you and misses. Oh, phew. That's good news. Two more gnolls try to shoot at Shaba, and one of them hits. Schnecks. For nine points of damage. All right. Uh, Stone's Endurance. That covers everyone. Have you used that yet? That is a good point. That seems like enough damage to Stone's. What does what your Stone's protect you for on Av? Well, it's a D12. Average? Average is nine, so D12 plus two. Yeah, mm. you're right. That's it's a good number then, maybe. Yeah. All right, it's all stones and dirts. Like, I can understand not wanting to use it if it's small enough you're, you're over-protecting, over-healing, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so that takes off four, so I take five. Um, and I still have to make a con save. My Zephyr Strike. Dang it, man. I lost it again. Ah. I the one this time. Uh, it's a good lesson. Maybe you should just pop it off in the future. I don't know. It was helpful. It was a disengage, bro. Yeah, it's... I mean, that's sort of what I'm using it for, right? Like... Yeah. There, there hasn't been, like, a critical shot that I need to take, so just having the ability to, like, get away from people, hmm. you know, without yeah. disengaging like, is very helpful. I mean, for your character, I imagine, like, the magical Christmas land is you use it as a free disengage and shoot something with the lightning arrow with the, the advantage that it gives, right? It gives advantage. Right, yeah, exactly. So, like, yep. you'll, you'll pull that off, mm-hmm. just not yeah. today. All right. Stripey's turn. All right. Stripey will try to hit the warg. Advantage. Uh, yep. 20 to hit for 10. That's good damage. Warg is still up. Oh, he's still up, man. All righty, then. And it's back to Aslo. You managed to stay standing. I did, and not get hit, and not lose concentration. <laughs> yeah, it's really important that you don't get hit again. Yeah, like, that's really important. That's true, so I think I'm going to disengage. Yeah, I was going to say, are all your images gone? They are. You c- okay, you could just recast mirror image. That's true. Hmm. That's <laughs> Instead of Thank having you. to disengage, that way you just <laughs> sit there and... And soak. And soak, yeah. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's a good point. I was going to disengage, but... Well, I think even if you disengage, you're still potentially going to lose the conch, because that knoll seems to be shooting you, the one that's far off. Yeah. Down. That's true. So it's like... I, I actually really like Jay's suggestion, but... Yeah. Use your best judgment, Aslo. You got a brain. <laughs> I think I'll do that. I'll cast mirror image again. 
uh, use another second level slot and um, I sit there and taunt them <laughs> You make four different faces. Just four Aslan's dancing <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, the knoll looks confused and angry at seeing you just sprout more of yourself <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, and then I will give Tokus Bardic Inspiration again. Thanks. Yeah. Again, Bardic Inspiration. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. All right. Shaba. I'm going to fire at the knoll who's on Aslo. Should I just lightning shot through the two of these guys just for the fun of it? The Noel and the Warg here? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I should, right? <laughs> just for funsies. Dude, they're lined up perfect for they're you. They're lined up perfectly. I feel like I gotta do that, right? Like a game of billiards right here. Yeah. I do have a bardic from Asla that I can use if need be. Alright, so I will expend a charge of the lightning bow and try to hit the Noel and the Warg. I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Well, I'm aiming at the Warg, of course going through the knoll. So I'm going to use the bardic. That's a 13 total, and I don't know if that hits the warg. I think their armor class is somewhere around 14 or 15, so I'll just yeah. use the bardic. I got a 2, so that makes it a 15 to hit the warg. Okay, 15 hits. Oh, All right. Nice. I will take one lightning damage, and then I will deal. Oh, my. Oh, my, my, my. The lightning deals... 18. Oh, I rolled really well. And then the targeted creature takes an additional 11, because I rolled max on the arrow. Wow. Oh. Alright, so the knoll makes his saving throw and dodges the worst of the lightning, but he's still pretty badly singed. Hmm. And the warg has... <laughs> Explodes. <laughs> has lightning <laughs> crackling all around him, but somehow managed to survive. What? <laughs> wow. What the heck? Hadn't been hurt before. Okay, so he would have taken, well, depending on whether he uh, he made his save, so 11. He failed his saving throw, but he, he took 29 damage and he's still standing. Wow, <laughs> Jeez, goodness. That is a strong warg. <laughs> All right. And Stripey will follow up on the other warg. With advantage? Hmm, I don't think that's going to... Even, even with, with advantage? advantage? Yeah, with advantage, I rolled really low this time. Oh, Jay, how could you? RNG, I, I rolled really well on my attack, or my damage roll. I rolled a 7 and a 1, so the highest is 12. Hmm. Man. 12 is a miss. Yeah, shucks. All right, that ends my turn. Tokus. I think I should drop this guy and then move over to Aslo. What do you guys think? Sounds good to me. Yes. Okay. So, how damaged was this warg, or not so much? We didn't really deal a lot of damage to this one, did we? It's moderately hurt. It's been hit twice, I think. Moderately. Here's here's a thought. What if I move my hex from that corpse on the ground over there to this guy, for starters? So I'll do that as a bonus action. Yeah. And I'm going to attack it. I rolled a natural one. Awesome. Great. But I'm flanking. That's true. I'm flanking. Much better. Two ones this time. Wait, What? Eleven. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, good night. <laughs> that was about to be a dub dub one one. Yeah, dub dub one one. Yeah, yeah. So that that's an eighteen to hit. Dub dub one one. Hit. Yeah. <laughs> Dubby one zero. Damage. Not bad. Okay, so two hex and another eight physicality. The warg is still alive. It is just <sighs> hanging on. I think I should leave it, guys. I think you're going to finish it off with Stripey Shava. Probably. Stripey's definitely going to finish it off, yes. Yeah, so why don't I just risk taking a hit and go over to help Aslo? Yep. All right, so I will not disengage. I will move over to the knoll, I guess. Well, I missed. Can I, can I move into flanking? Is that too far? It, no, you're close enough now. You moved a little bit last turn that brought you closer, so you can flank. Okay. The other option is I could move next to Aslo and then I can protect him to make sure in the off chance the mirror image doesn't protect him that like flanking might be less important than me keeping helping him keep his um, hypnotic active. Oh that's true that's a good point. Why don't we plan for that because if that goes away like I was hoping we use this time to clear out all the shooters right? Yeah Mm. that's a good point. What do you think about that thought Jay? Yeah I like it. So I lose a little bit of hit chance but. Double it's a double hedge of protection Mm -hmm. around Aslo. Okay did I take a hit from you, Thane? I missed. Yes. Okay, good, good, <laughs> good. All right, I'm going to attack this Null with my second attack. No hex, but, uh, ooh, that's good. So 18 plus my attack Hit. bonus and everything else. And nope. Damage. Another eight damage on this one. All right. And I, and I 
come over and I put my hand on one of Aslo's eight shoulders and I say, <laughs> "Does that would that dispel one if I like tried to like touch you?" <laughs> Touches it and disappears. <laughs> Only if you hit its armor class. Okay, so I'll, I'll go. I'll touch under its armor class and <laughs> say, "Aslo, we got this." All four of us turn to you in unison and say, "Sounds good, Tokus." <laughs> <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> I'm really creeped out. Are you sure that I'm the shadow caster? It's like a very like evil thing, kind of. We we are Legion. <laughs> That's where my mind went. Great show, by the way. I, oh yeah, I have completed my uh, my turn. Uh, the two warrings attack. Strapey is hit, and he has to make a strength save. Strength save. Uh-oh. He takes ten points of damage. Aslo is also hit, unless it hits one of your. Well, actually. You want to impose disadvantage on the first attack there? Yeah, so so the, that would happen first, then we see if it's a mirror image, right? Yeah. Is that the sequence? I believe so. So yes, I'll roll with disadvantage. Let's do that. I'm just trying to understand the interaction. Okay, well, it's still a potential hit. Oh, no. Okay, so mirror image. Mirror image. That's a 14. That's enough to hit a hit an image. Okay, it dispels one of your images. All right. So Stripey now has Beast's Defense. Hmm. Which, as long as he can see me, he has advantage on all saving throws. Oh, man. Ooh, that's cool. So he just, like, looks to you and feels more... Inspired. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah. More advantageous. So, strength save. Um, oh, nice. His highest is a 19. That's a really good ability. That's cool. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's, like, the first thing about Beastmaster I like. Everything else has not (laughs) been so good. (laughs) <laughs> he already had proficiency yeah. in all saving throws. Now he has advantage on all of them also. Wow. Mm. <laughs> right. All right. All the rest of my guys missed. Oh, wait. That's right. Wait. He adds prof- He adds his my proficiency bonus to all his saves as well? Yeah, he has his proficiency, so plus three on all of his saving throws. Uh, okay. So that's not a 19. That's a 22. Wow. Guys, I'm pretty sure Stripey is the best character in the party. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best at saving throws, for sure. Stripey's pretty awesome. That's Sean saying that, not Tokus. Right. He's got better saves than me. He has more hit points than me. <laughs> Dude, what if we just had taught mirror image to Stripey? That'd be way more helpful than teaching it to you. Uh, that's true, yeah. He's probably got more kills than anyone else, too. Probably. Yeah, he does tend <laughs> to drop people. I believe it. Sure. <laughs> All right, Stripey's turn. All right. He's going to try and hit that warg this time. Oh, 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 that is a natty, natty twonzo. <laughs> Whoa, natty, 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 natty twonzo. Hey, on the kill shot. Boom. It has one hit point, so... All right, he deals 15 to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always roll them when you don't need the overkill. Boom! I want someone to explode. I don't know why. I want somebody in this combat to explode. <laughs> Please, Thane. Stripey retaliates from that last attack, and in his anger, he just rips the Borg's head off. <laughs> what if we had, like, a really annoying soundboard that we used with the show, Jay? Uh, with, like, Stripey <laughs> sounds and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> or just, like, burr, 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 and other annoying noises. Yeah. I'll plan to rig that up in my new uh, game room so that when we, no. when we live stream... No, don't do it. <laughs> I'm going to no. have speakers in the walls. Oh, well, that there might be appropriate. <laughs> The live stream. So that was Stripey's actual turn? Uh, yes. And... Couldn't... He's... Yeah. Yeah. You're correct. He'll he'll start on his way toward Tokus. He runs towards Tokus with love in his eyes. And a mouthful <laughs> of blood from the guy who just <laughs> ate. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's good. Love in his eyes and blood in his teeth. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> love. <laughs> All right. Uh, I still have a couple mirror images up. I think now is the time to thunder wave. So I will cast that on the knoll and the warg that are right on me. They make con saves. Well, no, no. We hope they fail con saves, Brian. Right. Yes. They attempt to make con saves. But they cannot succeed. All right. Uh, so that's a total of eight damage if they failed. Yes, they both failed. Warg goes nice. down and... Yes, both of them. Both of them drop. Wow. Wow, sweet. All right. Boom, boom. And they go flying back and smash against the trees, break through a few branches. <laughs> nice. And land in the bushes. Do they explode? One of the bushes explodes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All, right. All right, something exploded. Awesome. It erupts into flame. <laughs> nice. Anything else? Or Shaba's turn? Uh, I will blow the smoke off the end of my finger. <sighs> Wait, don't you... You could freely move now. 
That's true. I could. Do I'm, we want to try to go after the the gnolls taking pot shots at us? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cower behind Tokus. All right. I like it. I'll protect you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, shove it. I think it's time to hunter's mark, and I will mark Ooh. that knoll at range and take a shot. Oh man, this die keeps rolling twos tonight. I'm gonna throw this in the garbage, even though it's a heavy metal. One. You, you could send it <laughs> off to the purgatory of your freezer first. Yeah. That's um, true. Or should I just use my session insp just for fun? Well, you already rolled to hit, so inspiration comes before the roll. Oh, right. Okay. I th- okay, yeah. I was thinking I could use it before I knew the result, but you're right. Um, okay. Stripey is not in range to hit anybody, so that will end my turn. All right. Took us. Hmm. It's going to take you two movements to reach any of the nulls at range. Yeah. Are, are any of them damaged already? No. None of these ones are? Okay. You have ranged attacks? No, I do. I do. I could, like, start to advance and unleash. Oh, yeah. For my turn, can I also move toward Tokus as well? Sure. <laughs> you can catch up to him. <laughs> you guys just all want to be protected by me. I'm moving away from you. Unless, do we want to do some ranged combat? Then I guess I could sit next to you guys. Ranged combat sounds fun. The gnolls that have been shooting at you this whole time are actually going to have partial cover because they're firing from behind trees. Mm. Mm. All right. And it's thick foliage. We'd better get behind some trees then. Yeah, instead of running over to Tokus, I'll run into some trees. Oh, you want to try to obscure yourself? Get some partial cover? Obviously, none of us know where any of the trees are, so... Yeah. Wherever the, ne- the tree that will give me partial cover that's closest to Tokus. Okay, I mean, there are trees all around. It's just that you have to get close to one to get the cover from it. Yeah. We're, so we're in a... Here's what I'm imagining. Like, we're in kind of a clearing, a small clearing, right? Uh, we didn't actually You're make next it to the, clearing. to the clearing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we're in the woods. Yeah. We're not out of the woods yet, Tokus. Yeah, so there are trees all around. So here's what I'm imagining. So picture some woods. We're in them. There's trees. <laughs> Go on a journey with me. <laughs> Lots of trees and bushes. Yeah, so I will move toward Tokus and get behind a tree that will give me partial cover near Tokus. Near where Tokus is right now. Okay. And Tokus? Yeah, I don't know what I should do here, guys. I didn't realize that they're going to have partial cover. I don't really want to blow spell slots over stuff that's not going to hit how, how could okay could i move to the knolls on the left and down start moving toward them yeah yeah flush them out can you get me within 30 feet yeah one movement will get you that close all right time to bust out something sweet so you guys remember those frost gauntlets i was working on well check this out and i'm going to <laughs> use my souped up frost gauntlets wow. nice and cast rhymes Rhymes Binding Ice. Ooh. Sweet. What does it do? Is that saving throws or? Uh, it is a con saving throw, and it is 3d8 cold damage. Yes. Ooh. Now, I don't own many d8s, which is very. Sa- oh, no, that's not true. I think I have some over here. Let's see what I got. One succeeds, one fails. Yeah, I only have two d8s, really? Oh, man. No. I'll have to buy another one if I'm going to be learning this spell. I thought I was ready for Tokus' level don't up. You need like, to have... <laughs> you can always... <laughs> no, I must them. have the third D8. <laughs> yeah, you need to buy a tube of icy-looking D8s. Dude, with yeah, right? A tube right? of fiery-looking D6s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, ooh, I rolled max on one of these die. Yeah. So, so far, we're looking at 13. Here comes the next... Oh. And another five on top of that. All right. 18 wow. or so nine. 18 cold damage. Solid. So that's 18 to one of them and then half to the other. I mean, that's a pretty decent total. Yep. It's a good spread. Oh, and here's something else that's interesting. The one that failed his save, he is hindered by ice formations for a minute. Now, that doesn't really matter because they're ranged, but just saying, that's kind of cool. He's hindered by ice formation, so like if he What's hits... What's the status effect? If, so if he's on the Titanic and he runs into a glacier... <laughs> <laughs> oh so, no, I've been hindered Oh no, <laughs> this ice sculpture has hindered me So, on, yeah, on a fail save A creature takes 3d8 cold damage And is hindered by ice formations for one minute Or, until it or another creature Within reach of it uses an action To break away the ice A, a creature, here's the status effect thing A creature hindered by ice has its speed re- Reduced to zero Wow. Mm. So he should stay away from weddings and fancy dinner parties, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> there might be rogue ice sculptures about. <laughs> All right, so it can't move. Yeah, it has a speed of zero. But that doesn't really matter unless they're trying to run away from us since they're ranged attackers. But it's still kind of cool to note that one of them's like... <sighs> yeah. So can't you cast that one spell that, like, turns water into ice and make an ice slick underneath them and then rhymes them? So in order... <laughs> 
to modify the frost gauntlets, I lost that previous spell. Oh, oh yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, shucks. Yeah. Well, either way, snowmen are, like, questionable. They should probably stay away from those, too. Yeah. That probably qualifies as a nice formation. Those things will get you. Is this, like, a horoscope? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I, I wouldn't want them to be hindered, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I missed with three attacks, and the one null that you hit, but that is not hindered, takes a shot and then starts to run away through the woods. Oh. Hey, come back here, you know. You're just going to leave his buddy like a popsicle? Come back here and die like a knoll, you know. <laughs> Cowards. We'll steal your dinner. Don't worry, Tokus, I have a sieve. We can strain out all the spices. <laughs> or whatever they're cooking in there. I was hoping we would eat it. Unless, like I said, it's man flesh. I bought a sieve last time we were in town just for you. Oh, thanks, buddy. To strain out any stolen food. <laughs> you never know when you're going to run into free food, man. That's right. Well... Food that's tasty enough to kill for. Mm-hmm. With spices <laughs> in it. Stripey? Stripey will. He'll start running after the knoll. No, I'm just kidding. Um, he's going to run towards the hindered knoll. Yeah, it's helpless. Do it. And he'll double move to get there. Yeah, he moves faster, so I think he can make it there in two moves. All right. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, because that guy's a ranged attacker. That's brilliant. And he'll growl, growl. Because that would give this guy a disadvantage, right? So mm. Okay. As a... Aslo is just going to... He'll probably move up a little bit and then pull out uh, his crossbow to take a shot at the hindered knoll. Okay. You sure you don't want to shoot the one that's running away and maybe he's going to alert more knolls? Or Oh, that's true. I'm hoping we ranged attack that one dead, TBH. I guess either way, I am in long range here, so... Because it's uh, 30 feet for a hand crossbow is my... Short range. Do you think we can get that one killed, or should we let it go? Um, if I'm going to take one shot with low damage, I'm, it's probably good for me to take the shoot at the one that's running away. Hmm. You can always enhance it, though. You got like all your fancy College of Swords stuff. That's true. That has to be if it hits, though. Yeah, just don't miss. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah just, just, just yeah. make that. De- just make that decision. Okay. Just simply make a good attack. Uh, I think I'm going to hit. Visualize the bolt flying into the enemy before you take the shot. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, exactly. That's what I always do. Uh, guys, it worked, actually. I got a 16. I think that might hit. Nice. All right. We should decide to hit yes. more often. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Why haven't we been doing this the whole time? <laughs> it's amazing the power of positive thinking. Why are we using <laughs> dice, even? <laughs> Make 16 hits. We should just tell Thane that we hit. We should just lie about every roll. I'm just kidding. Yeah. We really do roll our dice, listeners. I promise you. <laughs> That's for seven piercing. Seven is not enough to take it out. So no. it staggers a bit with the bolt in its back, but keeps oh, on running. Man. Okay. How much would... I know you already made the decision, Brian, not to use it, and I respect that. How much more damage does it do if you give it the extra juice? Oh, yeah. Um... It's a bardic. That's true. Yeah, I could have could have done that. Um, yeah, it cost me a bardic inspiration, but I get to roll uh, my d8 and add that to it. Okay, may or may or may not have killed it then. Yeah, mm. I've, I've, we already found out that it didn't, so I feel like it's too late. But oh well. No, no, I know. I'm agreeing. It's too late. I was just saying. I was thinking about the math, and yeah, they, on average, that's another four points. Yeah. Shove his turn. Well, good, because that was the knoll that I had hunters marked. So I will <laughs> take nice. a shot at it and try not to miss. Um, I am going to use my session inspiration here, because I feel mm. like this is an important shot. It's going to deal a lot of damage if it hits, and I don't want my mark to run off alive. Because <laughs> that's basically like losing the spell. All right, uh, that will be a 19. And it hits. All right. And we'll deal, not too shabby, 14 damage. Yes. It takes another shot in the back, and with that one, it falls and is lost in the forest floor. Nice. All right. Whew. Nice job. Nice job, guys. Last snowball in the movie Elf. <laughs> Sniper shot. Stripey will hit the knoll that's hindered in front of him. Or try to. Uh, yeah. He's got a 24 to hit, and he'll deal. He brings it down. All right. Sweet. Seven damage. Does so Stripey like chewing on ice? Like some dogs like chewing on ice. Mm, yeah. Stripey steals yet another kill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? He cherry, he's a cherry picker. Uh, yeah, he'll chew on that ice. Yes, indeed. And I'm done. Chewing on ice cubes. Bad for your teeth. <laughs> mm-hmm. And this nice hot 
sticky day. I assume it's a hot, sticky day. I thought this was the end of winter. It is the end of winter, so... <laughs> okay, never mind. On this cold, frigid day. <laughs> but Marengar is on the opposite side of the globe, so it's actually summer. Right. Oh, wait, so is this... It's not that far. <laughs> Plus, it's only west, it's not so... <laughs> when we first came out of... Or when we first came out of the underground uh, receiving area when we teleported... Thane said that there were snowflakes in the air when we came out. Mm. So it's went definitely wintry here. Yeah. However that works. Yeah, it's not currently snowing, but there has been recent snow and mm. maybe an inch or two on the ground. It's took us his turn. So I don't want this other knoll to get away. It's going to take you like three movements to get up to it now, because... Yeah, I was going to say... So you said this one's obscured? Yeah. Mm. Just strafe for a bit until it isn't. I mean, I could get to it. I'd have to use some abilities, but I can get to it. That would be good. You'd kind of pin it down until Stripey could join you. Okay, I'm going to move, and then I'm going to Misty Step the rest of the distance. Ah. Ooh. All the way? All right, so what's the Misty Step distance? 30 feet. Would that still not get me to close? Yeah, since you can go more directly that way rather than having to run around all the trees and bushes and stuff. Right, if there's a tree that starts to hinder my movement... Maybe I use the Misty Step early and then go back to walking. Yeah, so you can get over to him. Nice. Okay, so that was my bonus action, so I've already done that this turn, so I can't move the hex, unfortunately, but I'm going to smack it with my hammer. That's a natural one. Awesome. Wow. All right, that's my third natural one of the night. A lot of natural ones for you. Uh, I'm going to try again. That time, eight. So uh, that would be a 15 to hit. 15 hits. Perfect. Was that a barely hit? You made it sound like it might have been a thing. <laughs> it's pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and near minimum on the dams, so six. The damages. All right, six damage. That's his first hit. So you run up and whack it in the leg. Do I freak it out with the whole teleport thing? Like, he sees me coming, and then I disappear. Yeah, you run behind one tree, disappear, and appear from behind another tree, and surprise attack it. <laughs> Bring down the hammer. Here I am! <laughs> I do one of those things where, like, there's, like, a handle on the hammer, like, very Thor-style, and I start, like, <laughs> bring it down. <laughs> Bring down the hammer. Yeah, it tries to adjust its aim as you're running towards it, but then you disappear and lose his track for a moment as you come out and attack it in the shin. He'll never see me coming. <sighs> Stripey. I mean, he, I mean, he did, but... All right, Stripey <laughs> runs at the knoll as well. All right, he's not going to get there this turn. All right, and he's done. This knoll, he's just going to try to bite Tokus. He doesn't have a melee weapon on him. And also rolls a natural one. <laughs> Don't chip your teeth, little buddy. <laughs> or I guess I guess to Togas he'd be a... Large pretty, buddy. Big buddy, yeah. Yeah, so as his turn. Uh, can I move to be within 30 feet of him? Yeah. Okay, then I will just take a regular crossbow shot. 17 to hit. 17 hits. Four. Seven piercing. Getting close. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe I will use a blade flourish. You can, if you want. All right, so spend a bardic inspiration, deal an extra two damage. Oh, no. And... <laughs> that is not so great. Uh, I will just use the defensive... So I add an extra two to my armor class until the start of my next turn. All right, Shaba, you can try to finish it off. Yeah, so he still has partial cover from me where I am, right? Y you could move the... Uh, yeah. Well, I do move the, the hunter's mark to it, but I want to get somewhere where he doesn't have cover from me. Can I strafe around? I don't think he'll make it far enough, because he was hiding from that direction. No, I don't mean... Yeah, I want to move, like, laterally, not toward him. So you try and strafe until the tree doesn't conceal him? Yeah, except... Toward Aslo. You would get just a little bit past Aslo, I think. Okay. Um, that's an 18 to hit. That hits. And we'll do 13 damage. Alright, you bring down the last one. Alright. Nice. 